when they found out that I actually had feelings for him, yeah, so that they were like, what happened to your taste? I'm like, what's wrong with my taste? <laughs> I'm Kaiser 25 this year. Hi, I'm Gordon 27 this year. And we met each other when she's secondary 1 and I'm secondary 3. And we've been dating together for 12 years. And we just got engaged. Hi, my name is Amira. I'm 28 this year. Hi, I'm Alfie. I'm 30 this year. So we have been dating uh, since I was in Sec 3. So that makes 13 years this coming September. And we just got married uh, last September. Hi, I'm Jovina. I'm 27 this year. Hi, I'm Zheng Xiang. I'm 27 this year. We met when we were Sec 3. And we've been together for over 10 years and we're getting married this year. I know her in secondary school during a basketball session. She is in basketball but I wasn't. My CCA in secondary school was a youth flying club. Back then I was playing outside, small team with other people. So we wanted to play with uh, the school team girls. Yeah, and then I got a random text from this unknown number asking me to to go and play basketball with him. We started dating when I was 17 and she was 15, but we actually met each other when I was 14 and you were 12. Yeah. Every Sundays, I would go to my uh, friend's house. After my religious club, we play games. Someone shouted, Assalamualaikum! And I was like, who's that? <laughs> yeah, I opened the door just to peep through, just to say hi. Then yeah. I was like, okay, bye. I first met Zheng Xiang at uh, a math tuition class in Sec 3. Uh, so because I missed my own lesson, I had to make, uh, do a makeup class and I ended up in his class. That's how I met him. <laughs> my first impression of him, quite nerdy. <laughs> Because, yeah, like he wears specs and then um, he's he cut his hair until very quite short lah. Then then she, she said that she's not she's not chill lah. She said she's. I don't know what he like uh. Um, she had fair skin. For a Malay to have a fair skin, so it's very rare. So she was very unique uh. When I stepped into class, uh, there were three guys sitting in a row for the first like maybe 10, 15 minutes of the class. I was sitting at the back thinking, where have I seen this? Yeah. Actually, we were both from NCC yeah. at that time, but of course different schools. She was in Crescent, I was in Hua Chong. I was just focusing on the tuition class. <laughs> yeah, what photo so, around? Focus on the class. <laughs> A-star student. <laughs> After the basketball session, there's like... Like, that's where they start to stir shit. As simple as walking past each other in school. Mm. Then they were just like, eh, eh. Yeah. After when we met up for the basketball session, then we start to slowly understand each other, text each other. Knowing each other as friends first. Mm. Then yeah. probably during that period of time, then we start to uh, like each other. 10 days after we played the basketball match, um, we, we went out to buy lunch. And that was when he said, I love you. But then I pretended that I didn't hear this word. Then he said, I love you again. I was like, oh shit. We, we were friends until uh, you were 15. She keep, I would say, messaging me on MSN. I yeah, was so. the one who initiated the chat. Lah. Last time got the MSN, I like to send that kind of thing. Then it just irritate him. It took me three months to realize that she something is wrong. There was one night I couldn't sleep. I kept thinking about her. And next thing I know, uh, I tell myself that, okay, that's it. I'm going for her already. I chanced upon his blog. Um, on the internet. <laughs> At the point in time, I thought like, wow, um, quite a nice read, you know? So that, <laughs> that was when I started to take interest in this particular person. I think there was this once, um, from the blog post itself, he seemed uh, a little bit down. I tagged on his tag board and, and said like, oh, chap. Then she became more regular in tagging. And since I already tagged, they just go all the way, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then sooner or later, it just becomes obvious you now. We started to like go out to study together and eat together. Slowly, slowly, it just felt more and more comfortable. At one point, you just think like, is this just how good friends really are or is this like <laughs> more than friends? Yeah. 
So on the night itself, he texted me again. <laughs> 在在一起看看。Gangsters, yeah. End up, she agreed. Yeah. Ultimately, lah. So it's like straight away official already. This type of thing is uh <laughs> the no 打铁要趁热。When our friends uh found out that we got together, they were quite happy for us. Hmm. Cause like yay, match make 成功 Suddenly he keep chat with me like very very long hours, non-stop. But then he didn't ask like. Should we go on a date? I was still waiting for the answer for him to ask me to become his girlfriend. So I had to make the first move. So I say, should we be more than this? And then he was like, okay. So it's a bit slow lah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For a while we were like, we kind of know that like, we, hmm, we kind of like each other, on. but but just didn't say anything about it. At that time, uh, I also knew one other girl yeah. from tuition class, and the tuition teacher basically was joking that that girl and I. Have something going on after the class? She texted me and like saying she would be upset if it was true. So after that, we 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 had a conversation about it. In the end, we counted that as like the start of our relationship. So the previous guy I dated、mm. is the YP type. Because of that, my parents thought that all the guys in my school is YP type. So we were in a secret relationship for more than two to three years. Ultimately, my sister managed to convince my dad. She managed to interact with him, and then she found out that eh, actually he's a he's a great guy. Ah.、Uh. To prove that、eh, actually I'm not the kind of YP, so we study hard. In the end, we managed to get the point. So probably that also set a standard that eh,、hey, you know, I can actually、uh, study, not just like Paikia. Actually, my parents they want me to focus on my studies more than love. I also convince my parents that、um, if I were to excel in my studies, means I means I'm well balanced with everything. Yeah. So that's when my mom like slightly convinced. Yeah. My mom didn't say much, but she did remind me that、uh, if I were to have a girlfriend, just make sure that you treat her well. My brother told my parents that oh, today got this. Guy come to the house. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That night, my mom was like, "Ah,、uh, 你们呃、uh, 不要太认真啊，呃、uh, 玩玩就好。In my mind, it's like, "Oh, mom, you asking you play someone else's feelings, like like." <laughs> so I was not very comfortable to let my parents know. So I didn't tell them until a year later, actually. So we every time I go out, I say I meet a certain guy friend to study. Eventually, after one year, I felt like it's no point to keep hiding. It's very tiring also to keep lying. They know it's been one year already. They cannot really say <laughs> to knock it off also. So the next obstacle is when I'm 22. I was working as a cabin crew. The difficult moment was because、uh, I have a stable income. Salary every month, but he just came out came out of army back then. He couldn't find secure any secure uh proper job yet. Although I care for him a lot, but um because we are working towards our future, so money plays quite an important role. In that one year, I tried to look for full time job, but at the same time, I also did many part time job in between until uh I found a stable job. That's how uh things gets better. So the main obstacle is that um. We didn't have time. Yes,、yeah. maybe you were focused on studies. Your、well, first three years of studies. He just started NS. Um, before he get enlisted, um, we casually walk at some park, did it? Park, yeah, yeah park yeah. near neighborhood park. He suddenly kneel down. I was so shocked. I was like, wait, what happened? What happened? Stand up! I said, please don't leave me. I'm going NS soon. <laughs> so I was like, no, no, I'm not gonna leave you for NS. Knowing that Amira's、uh, stuck with me during the NS period,、uh, I felt I should. I think our relationship、um, was quite smooth,、uh, except for the period when I first entered uni. We didn't really know how to handle it. We had to communicate a lot lah during that period. You know, if we want this relationship to work, we will find a way to make it work. Whether or not it's forever is really up to us to decide. Yeah, I think that was the point in time where we started becoming like. Yes, we are sure that we will do this together. Yeah. So he told my poly friends to to like trick me into a chalet. The moment I opened the door, I saw like decorations of like leading me to this heart、uh, shape. Heart shape. 
Yeah. Hmm. Then after that, he made a video of a uh, like of, a, of when the journey we la. were young. Mm. When I was, she was 13 years old, I was 15, and all the way the journey. That's when I got on my knees and then asked her the question, like, uh, will you marry me? I think he part will out. We did the traditional way, in a way. La. So on Hari Raya 2017, my family, actually all, all of us, uh, decided to ask for her hand in marriage. My mom sat beside her mom, and then suddenly we just, she just bring up the topic. La. I, I was just sitting in one corner and just like hoping myself, yeah, please accept, please accept. <laughs> <laughs> Two months later, then we got engaged. What I did was to first um, lure her out by getting her sisters to say that uh, there's a family meal planned. Actually, I in the background um, planned with uh, like about 100 friends from my dance club to put out like a flash mob. At the end of it all, I just Say a few balloon. heartfelt words and got down on one knee. The Mary me balloon. Yeah. yeah. So seeing everyone being able to be there and witness it all and share the moment together with us was it was very nice and very heartwarming. Yeah. Don't give up. Yeah. If you if your relationship is struggling, uh, don't give up so easily. He was the one uh, trying to change my mindset, my mentality about things. He made me grow to how, what I am today. Patience, uh, patience. Mm. Because um, he a bit hot tempered sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so, but but he's better now with me. Patience was uh, plays a part uh. Uh, the, I'm the fire and then she's the water, so you change me yeah. from someone that is always hot-tempered uh, to someone that is very patient, you change me. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Communication itself is very, very important. If you don't communicate, then where do you bridge and have the understanding? You just have to be patient and remind yourself that how important is this to you? Is yeah. it worth is it worth the time and the effort? Yeah. She's very important to me mm. because I can't imagine um, going through life not having her to share everything with. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know what you want to watch next time in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! Bye.